Hello there, this is Vivian Zapanza. This is my day 51. All right, and yesterday we were talking about the reasons or why, how you actually treat your body. I said, how do you take care of your body? So are you doing all the stuff that takes good care of your body? You're eating well, you're sleeping well, and you're moving important that you keep that blood flow moving right so going to the eating well i remember when i was a small child at seven i was not listening to my body actually i was listening to the bad side that something tastes very good for my taste bud and that was having you know, fish sauce, in our language, is called patis. Huh? I used to drink that, my God, in teaspoon or tablespoons, and I would drink patis or fish sauce into my body. So what happened? Of course, at the age of seven, I built stones in my kidney. Hala! All right? So to the point that the doctor says that you are not going to live if you do not take care of that body. How do I understand that as a seven-year-old, right? Seven-year-old child, just knowing what tastes good is good for us, right? Not thinking, not, you know, logically thinking about our health. And not knowing that I was in the brink of my life. Okay, so... I was grade um, two then or one, and both of us, my classmate, my best friend and I, had the same disease. It was nephritis. And during that time, there was no available medications for nephritis. And if there was in the Philippines, you have to get your medications from the U.S. And that takes a lot of money. So my classmate Doris didn't make it. She passed on. But then again, my father was very determined to help me, okay? So what happened was, he mortgaged his house just so that I can get my medication. Imagine that. So as a child, I was drawn to tasting the good things only. Taste it for me, then that's it. We don't think about how it will affect our body. But that brought brought me a lot of high reasons to take care of my body. Okay, that's why I was given a second life. Now, do we need to go through that in order to be uh, healthy? No. Let's learn from our experiences, right? Learn from the experience of others. You don't have to go through that but learn from others what they have experienced and pick up the pieces of the gems of their experience and not go through those tests. So that's my share for today in terms of movement. It's very, very important that you keep moving so that you can release all the toxic waste in your body. Ciao for now. See you again tomorrow. Bye.